A time period in which humanities flourished in Spain is known as the Golden Age or El Siglo de Oro. This era is especially important because it shaped the culture of Spain's art as it is known today. Many of the pieces that come about during this time period are still admired and studied today. The works that come about during the Golden Age of 1492 through 1659 in Spain are still relevant today and are important for understanding Spain's culture. The first point I will be talking about is Don Quixote. According to WealthyGorilla.com, Don Quixote is the best-selling novel of all time, with 500 million copies sold. One of Spain's most widely used style of literature that developed during the Golden Age is Spanish Baroque. Spanish Baroque can be best described as a more dramatic and immersive style of literature, as opposed to the more common patriotic and realistic style of literature. The story of Don Quixote revolves around a middle-aged man by the name of Alonso Quijano, who is in love with chivalry, romances, and decides to become a knight. He gives himself the name Don Quixote de la Mancha and is on a quest to find his beloved Dulcinea. After he puts on his suit of armor, his journey begins. After enlisting a peasant named Sancho Panza to be his squire, they are ready to fight many imaginary enemies they encounter. Don Quixote is seen as one of the greatest novels in history because it was one of the first novels to have its characters undergo major character development. It was so influential and a big part of Spain's history, it is still studied about in many high school Spanish education courses. The second point I will be talking about is Vista de Toledo, or View of Toledo. This painting is especially important today because of how radical it was for its time. Accomplished in post-Reformation Spain, landscapes were banned from being painted. View of Toledo is uh, the first Spanish landscape painted and arguably the first cityscape ever created. As mentioned before, this painting was done after Spain's Catholic Church underwent major transformations, beginning with the Spanish Inquisition. <clears throat> El Greco painted the city and sky with sad gloomy colors and lines that allude to the idea that the image is not still. He wanted to evoke a sense of urgency like someone or something was coming. Another highlight is the grand sky impaled by the church. View of Toledo is still relevant today because it is thought to be the first of its kind, a cityscape. It also draws many parallels to the famous Starry Night by Van Gogh. Additionally, this type of landscape painting was not allowed under the new Catholic Church. The painting has dark religious themes that are still widely interpreted today. The third point I'll be talking about is theater in the Golden Age. The first of two styles of play was called Autos Sacramentales or Religious Plays that displayed Spain's Catholic loyalty. They were a combination of traditional civilian stories and biblical motifs. These were widely funded and very popular. Given the importance of religion, these types of plays were kept separate from temp temporal shows. The other popular style of play that was secular was called Comedias Nuevas. They were typically three acts and had themes of comedy, tragedy, mythology, and more. The plot typically involved love and honor, and this style was crafted during the Golden Age. Corales were popular sites for theatrical shows during the Spanish Golden Age. These shows would be performed in late afternoon, usually lasting two to three hours, with few breaks in between. Corales would hold theaters to raise money for charities and hospitals. Spanish theater is important today because it's a reflection of their Catholic loyalty, their strict government regulations after the Reformation, and the emergence of new styles of theater. 